We have really been suffering brutal cold for days now with little relief in sight. It's been about eight days. Yeah, life goes on as Chicagoans adapt to the winter chill. WGN's Dana Rebick is live on the lakefront with more Dana. Well, the snow is already coming down here along the lake. I think a lot of people were expecting uh, these cold temperatures as we've been reporting for several days and dealing with the cold, but we're surprised to hear about this heavy snowfall that is on the way for the city and suburban Cook County. I'm here. It's too cold. Right? On this bitterly frigid Valentine's Day, Cesar Ariano set up shop selling gifts to anyone who would pull over, hopping back in his truck to stay warm. He's very slow. Very slow. He's nothing. I don't. I don't. I sell only three in two, three hours. Despite the cold, we saw many people out shopping on the Mag Mile. I got some really cozy, warm boots, and these mittens, believe it or not, are keeping me warm my warm jacket and I'm originally from northern Minnesota so I kind of get it and um, we're enjoying it. A winter storm warning takes effect at 3 a.m. with heavy snow between 8 to 12 inches expected for northern, central and southern Cook counties. That combined with wind chills as low as 20 below zero will pack a miserable punch. The cold weather possibly contributed to a house fire in Wilmette today. Crews were called to this home on Timber Lane just after 11 a.m. Uh, when they got inside, they found uh, a small fire in that room. Uh, the occupants believe that may have been caused by an electric blanket. You could see some of the damage through the front windows of the home. The fire chief reminding folks to never leave electric blankets unattended, especially if they're turned on. Back in the city, those out and about are bundled up, bracing for more wintry weather to come. Uh, I think I have like three shirts on, scarves, the masks definitely help. My grandma made this one for me, so it's nice and warm. Yeah. But yeah, it's been really cold, so just doing our best to stay warm, stay close, yeah. and active. And we've been passing out hand warmers to people on the streets too, just because yeah. it's so cold. Now again, this uh, winter storm warning in effect from 3 a.m. until noon on Tuesday. The heaviest snow expected and the worst travel conditions tomorrow morning through Tuesday morning. So if you can stay home and avoid being on the road, tomorrow is a holiday uh, for most school uh, children and some businesses. So best to stay home if you can. Live along the lakefront, Dana Rebic, WGN News.